Tesla's battery day was a huge event and Torque News Tesla reporter Paul Foss says experts agree that after Tesla battery day, if you are designing an internal combustion engine car, gas car, you are screwed. In an, in an article published at torquenews.com slash Tesla, Paul Foss, Tesla's uh, Torque News Tesla reporter, uh, discusses the comments by auto manufacturing expert Sandy Monroe and battery expert Bob Gallien made in a recent AutoLine interview. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and opinions and ring the bell, uh, notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Paul says Sandy was very impressed with Tesla's rate of innovation. Bob is familiar with the plans of cattle and other major battery producers and stated they are not standing still. They may be able to match or even beat Tesla in battery innovations. If this happens, it's going to beat for it's going to be good for all of us. It's going to push Tesla to be more competitive to come up with better things and also it's going to uh, drive competition in battery production and this is going to bring the cost down and if the battery cost comes down tesla vehicles and electric vehicles will be more and more affordable especially after we learned yesterday that tesla will achieve 70 per, uh, 70 dollars per kilowatt hour battery production um, in when the come up comes up with new batteries within the next two three years and um, now both sandy and bob in this video agreed Tesla battery day marks the end of the internal combustion engine age. These cost declines, battery costs decline, whether from Tesla or other battery manufacturers eliminate the last niche of ICE cars, low purchase price. No wonder California decided to eliminate the sale of gas cars starting 2035. By the way, I will put the link to that video in the description of this video. So check, uh, check it out, that dis uh, discussion with between um, Bob uh, Gallien and uh, Sandy Mandro. Now, Paul says the day after Battery Day, AutoLine Network hosted a Battery Day post mortem with Sandy Mandro and Bob Gallien. Sandy Mandro has been working in the Detroit auto industry uh, since the 1980s and has founded a company to take product products apart and produce cost reports. Competitors, competitors then pay for these reports because the report is less expensive and easier than doing the work themselves. Sandy Monroe became somewhat disliked by the Tesla fans in February 2018 when he compared the Model 3 build quality to a Kia from the 90s. But as he drove the car and evaluated the electronics, battery and motor, he quickly started to say positive things about the company, about Tesla, Tesla vehicles. After the Cybertruck was announced, he praised Tesla profusely for having the courage to build a vehicle so radically different than existing trucks. He said the Cybertruck should be really cheap to build. Now he is so complimentary that he goes out of his way to state that Tesla has never paid his company a dime. I hadn't heard, uh, Paul says, of Bob Gallien before I watched the video. Like I said, you will have the video in the description of this video, but that is probably because he was working hard as a CTO of Contemporary Amperex Technology Limited. That's Cattle, a leader in battery storage, a Tesla supplier in China, battery supplier in China. Paul says he has won a bunch of industry awards, including Talent 1000 Award from China as a national distinguished expert, Automotive News Electrifying 100 Award, and General Motors Best of the Best Awards. Now, here are some comments that they make in the video. Sandy Monroe made comments on all areas of the present 
presentation, but has more expertise in the battery cell and building the car. Bob Gallien has more expertise. Uh, Bob Gallien has more expertise in manufacturing, chemistry, and materials. Um, at tw uh, 21st uh, minute of the video, when they started to talk about uh, the above slides, uh, Sandy really uh, lit up. Sandy said that slide is everything that says if you are investing in uh, internal combustion engine gas cars, you are screwed. He then went on to attribute this to vertical integration, a well-funded research and development center, and a free reign to be the best on the planet. At 1 hour 28 minutes, Bob wanted to make it clear that Battery Day announced new technologies that Tesla is working on. There are a flurry of other companies working on new technologies. He went on to say many companies will compete with Tesla and they may be better than what Tesla described. Many of these companies will compete head to head with Tesla and the battery industry is not standing still. They just aren't as open as uh, at sharing their plans with the world. So the battery industry is not very open to sharing what they have with the world. Now, there has been a lot written about Tesla Battery Day. Tesla fans are, are, are over the moon about the, all the innovation explained. Detractors, on the other hand, were disappointed. Paul says it isn't available today and that uh, this is only a roadmap with delays certain to occur. In this discussion, Sandy was consistently impressed with Tesla's plans to make cheaper batteries and radically simplify the manufacturing process of building a car by casting three big parts instead of combining 370 smaller ones. Bob was impressed by Tesla's presentation but made it clear that others are working on similar innovations in the battery space and there is no guarantee that Tesla's innovations will be better than the plans of the competitors. What is different is Tesla's strategy to be so public with their plans and patents. While other companies focus primarily on profits, Tesla focuses primarily on accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy with profits as a necessary but secondary goal. It appears the future is clear. Tesla and other battery manufacturers will race over the next 10 years to increase production of batteries at least a hundred folds from now to 200, uh, 2030. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are about this video and about this presentation, as well as Tesla's future battery plans. Tesla's being very open and very public with its battery plans. What do you think Cattle uh, and uh, Panasonic, actually Panasonic is already working with Tesla, but Cattle, LG Chem and SK Innovations will come up with, what will their response be to Tesla uh, in terms of newer batteries, newer plans, because they're not very much public with their plans. And also please note that at talknews.com we're looking for a couple of tesla reporters to join our team and report daily tesla news so if you're enthusiastic about electric cars and would like to report electric cars or tesla at talknews.com please contact me using the uh, contact information in the about page of this youtube channel talk news youtube channel and send me an email and if you want send me a sample story that would be great and i'll see you in our next report in the meantime friends this is armin harayan from talknews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the notification bell so you receive notifications when we upload so you don't miss my next tesla story have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you peace be with all of you and your families and see you soon in our next report